In this week's parasha, Yitro, the Torah is given, and it is the 17th parasha from the beginning of the Torah, 17 is Tov, and it, it has 72 verses to it, 72 is Chesed, but Tov is good and Chesed is kind, and the two have to unite, and they are united by the power of the Torah. What do these two numbers mean in, in pure number theory? These two numbers, 17 and 72, good and kind, relate to perhaps the, the most important uh, numerical series that appears abundantly throughout nature and also abundantly throughout the Torah text. The secular term is the Fibonacci series. It has to do with the golden section, the golden proportion which is the most ascetic uh, experience of the soul. The two numbers themselves, 17 and 72, are not in this series. What are the series and how does, for those that are not familiar with the series, how do we construct the series? We begin with one and one, and then we add one and one equals two, and then we add one and two equals three, and two and three equals five, three and five equals eight, meaning that the next number is derived, is generated by the sum of the two previous numbers. And once more, this appears throughout nature and also in industry it's used and it appears very, very much in the Torah text. Since the series begins one, one, two, and then it follows three, five, eight, and then 13, 21, 34, 55, 89, 144, if you notice, every third number is even. It's one, one, two, and then three, five, eight, and then 13, 21, 34. And then 55, 89, 144, and so, so on forever and forever. The third number is even. An even number has a half to it. An odd number doesn't have a half. It has a middle point, but not a half. Tov, 17, is the half of 34. And Chesed, kindness, 72, is the half of 144. 34 is the ninth Fibonacci number. In Kabbalah, these numbers are called love numbers, mispare ava, because they're all generated by the letters of the word ahava in Hebrew. So we'll call it, instead of Fibonacci, we'll use the Kabbalistic term, which is love numbers. The ninth love number is 34. Its half is 17, which is good. The twelfth love number is 144, it's half is 72, which is chesed. Now, if I add these two numbers together, 17 and 72, I get 89. 89 is one of the love numbers itself, it's the 11th. The difference between these two numbers, between 17 and 72, is 55, which once more is one of the love numbers itself is the tenth of the love numbers. So I see that these two numbers, this pair of numbers, 17 and 89, 17 and, and 72, which add to 89, are very, very important in relation to our love series, the series of beauty in, the, in creation and in the Torah. Whenever I will take two consecutive even numbers in this series and take their halves, the same phenomenon that we just noticed will, will appear, that the sum of the two halves will be the next number in the series, and the difference between the two halves will be the previous number in the love series itself. Just like every third number in the love series is even, every seventh number says, Kol all sevens are dear, every seventh number in the series 
will be a multiple of 13, a very important relationship between 7 and 13. 7 is the middle point of 13. So how does the series begin? It begins 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13. 13 is the seventh number, the dear number. 13 itself is the value of the word Ahava, love. One of the most basic reasons that we call this the love series. Every third, every seventh number will be a multiple of 13. The 14th number in the series is 377, which is 29 times 13. But the 21st number, which is another skipping of seven numbers in the series, will be 10,946, which not only is a multiple of 13, but it's also, since it's even, it's a multiple of 26, which is the value of Hashem's name, Hashem Havaya, Hashem's essential, the essential name of God. This obviously is the case because since we're skipping equal measures of num equal numbers, 7, 14, 21st, the third will be even, just as we said before, that every third number in the series is even. So skipping will also have the, reflect the same phenomenon, that the first seventh will be odd, the second seventh will be odd, and the third seventh number, which is the 21st number, 21 is also the value of one of Hashem's essential names, Shem Ekya, I shall be, the name of the Exodus. The 21st number in the series will be an even multiple of 13. If it's an even multiple of 13, so obviously it will be a multiple. It's the first number in the series which will be on the multiple of 26, which is Hashem's name. How, much, how many times 26 is it? It's 26 times 421. It's half, since it's even, it has a half. Its half value will be 13 times 421. There's another very important series of numbers which is called inspirational numbers. 13 is also one of the inspirational numbers. An inspirational number is defined as the sum of two consecutive square numbers. 13 is 2 squared plus 3 squared. But 421 is also, both are prime and both are inspirational, because it's 15 squared plus 14 squared. The, the one most important verse in the whole Tanakh, in the whole Bible, that equals that number 421 is Venoach Matzach and Beine Hashem. That Noach found favor in the eyes of God, of Avaya. There could not be a more beautiful allusion to the fact that this series is a series of chain of, of favor and beauty and grace in the eyes of Havaya, that the first number in the series that is a multiple of Shem Havaya, of Hashem's essential name, is Havaya times, and Noach found favor. Noach and favor, chain are the same letters in the opposite order, the same two letters. Reversed, just like in the pupil of the eye, the vision of the man that one sees is upside down reversed. That's why the pupil is called the Ishon. It's a little man upside down. Venoach Matzachen Beine Hashem. So once more, what, do, what did we learn from all of this? We learned that the, these two concepts of this week's parasha, good and kindness, are a very, very important pair of numbers that have to do with beauty and grace and truth. And they all derive from this, from the, actually from, from love, because they're all, it all has to do with love numbers. Actually, if I'll take these two numbers themselves and square each one, 17 squared plus 72 squared, which is good squared, squared means total interinclusion, good squared plus kindness squared, then the number that I will arrive at is exactly that half value of 10,946, which is the 21st number in the series, which is Havaya, 
times Vinoach Matzachen Bnei Hashem, that Noach found favor in God's eyes, which means that it's 13, it's, it's, it's love times Noach found favor in Hashem's eyes. That's 17 squared plus 72, 72 squared. So there's, for all of us, I hope that more and more of us will love numbers, and especially love the love numbers. And this is the, the portion in the Torah to connect to love numbers.